What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Akula Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. In this one, we take a look at the Axe Headman, some gameplay here with this. I didn't get it up yesterday, but better late than ever, right? So we're going to talk about this a little bit, the Axe itself, and then I think also we should talk a little bit about the state of supply drops and DLC weapons right now within Infinite Warfare. So firstly, the Axe Headman is the epic variant of the Axe. It's something that is available only in supply drops and, if I'm honest, might not be the most worth if you end up spending COD points or just using all your keys to try and get the Axe. It's something that's nice, yes, but is it something that is absolutely necessary or game-changing? I don't think so. This is more so just a melee reskin cosmetic item and something that you can throw with, so I guess it does change a little bit of the mechanics and things like that, but all in all, it's something that you don't necessarily need to go out of your way to try and get. It's not as amazing as you might think. It is cool and a lot of fun to use and definitely can be used for, say, Michael Myers mini games or something like that, but it's not anything that is, once again, super crazy and definitely needs to go for, at least in my books. You guys could totally have a different opinion, but as for the actual weapons overall that we got yesterday as themselves as a whole, I think it's actually brilliant how it's done. I was not a fan of supply drops since the very beginning in terms of introducing exclusive weapons and things like that to supply drops that started more so in Black Ops 3 rather than Advanced Warfare. Sure, there was almost that pay to win factor a lot of people considered back in Advanced Warfare, but Black Ops 3 really introduced the actual exclusive weapons only available in supply drops and I wasn't a fan of that. I made a rant video on it a long while back. I never partook in any real COD points except for I think the big box bundle where there were no dupes guaranteed with that. I think that was the only time that I actually spent COD points in any of the Call of Duties thus far. But as for the DLC weapons, how they were introduced lately, I absolutely am on board with this. I'm definitely all for giving season pass holders a weapon for free and I'm definitely all for being able to unlock them via challenges. Now, a lot of people say that that still might not be too fair, but honestly, I'd rather play for a couple of hours and earn a weapon than have to spend 40, 60, 100 bucks out of my own pocket to try and get a chance of getting something. Definitely, I think that that's a no-brainer in my opinion, and I'd love to see this progress and move forward back into this model of rewarding people, even just for, say, the season pass. I think that gives worth to the season pass once again. Sure, in the long run, I think you save like 15 bucks if you buy all the DLC up front, but as compared to what season pass holders used to get, you were guaranteed weapons back in, say, Black Ops 2, I believe. I think the Peacekeeper was something that season pass holders got for free and was available for purchase afterwards for those that did not have it. I think that was how it was, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but regardless, it's something that the argument that the season pass has kind of become something obsolete, that's been growing more and more within the community and the feeling about it. So this is nice to see a definite reward for the season pass. And of course, for those that don't have the season pass, it's fantastic as well. But I love this new model. I love how it's introduced and I'm definitely okay with it moving forward here into the future. So that's gonna wrap it up. Just wanna showcase a little bit of the gameplay here for you guys. Huge shout out to Miracle1 over on the COD Infinite Warfare subreddit. The gameplay is his. I'll link him down there in the description below for you guys to check out. So huge shout out to him. But that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Firstly, what do you guys think of the gameplay? Are you guys a fan of how the axe performs? And secondly, what do you guys think about the DLC weapon model in Infinite Warfare? Are are you guys cool with it? Are you guys hoping that it continues on this path that it's on where season pass holders and challenges are the way to get DLC weapons or are you somewhat opposed to that? I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare Mastered, and COD 2017. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, I practically live on Twitter, so it's the best place to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be. That link is down there in the description below. And of course, if you guys want to check out either of the two videos on screen right now, we'll take you to some gameplay of the RVN, the brand new assault rifle in Infinite Warfare, and one will take you to a cut com that I did where I unlock the UDM and play with it for you guys a little bit here with it. So if either of those interest you, click the links on screen right now. But all in all, hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you guys later. Mazda Nicola Espresso. Take care and peace.